Now, no one can forget the horrific crimes committed by Peter Sutcliffe, the Yorkshire Ripper, back in the 1970s. But for Richard McCann, the fallout from those crimes have been life-changing. Today we talk to a man whose life was shattered when the Yorkshire Ripper murdered his mother when he was only five. I was brought up on a council estate. My dad used to drink whiskey out of the bottle. He used to beat us with sticks. He drowned the dog in the bath. I just thought that was Darwin's goods. I was scared for life. Never going to amount to anything. Slept the streets, actually, as a young teenager. Let's go, no qualifications. Turned to drugs, ended up in prison. Almost took my life. Do you know when people discover that about me? They often have a question. It's always the same question, more or less. Richard, how? How have you turned that around? I'll tell you how I did it. With my attitude. It's an I can attitude. I can overcome life's challenges. Those two words are the two most important words of English language. Everything starts with I can. This is about how we focus on the glass that's half full, what courage looks like in an organisation and how we tap into those resources that are not always visible at first. You see, when you climb through those windows of opportunity rather than looking through them and you find the courage, it can often take you to a place that you never knew existed. I found Richard McCann's address the most moving, inspirational and courageous address I've quite honestly heard in my entire life. A lot of people talk about being inspirational speakers, but Richard is truly inspirational. I thought it was spectacular. I've seen a lot of speakers. I spend a lot of money making sure I see some really good speakers, and I would put him in the top 0.5% of those. Every job I've ever done, I've always tried to be the best at it that I can. You know, washing dishes, ironing trousers. Ironing trousers, there were two of us doing it. I used to make sure that I did more than Debbie. As a speaker, I always tried to strive for excellence. I always tried to improve what I do. And although it was only stacking boxes, I stood out, I shone, I went the extra mile. And within six, seven months, guess what happened? They installed a computer system into the warehouse. Guess who got the job? I'm in a position where I host these events from time to time. No one has held my attention and interested me as much as Richard has. The feedback from businesses has been um, absolutely unbelievable, which is testament to the delivery of his presentation and the fantastic story that he has got to tell. I don't know how that six-year-old boy was able to, to grasp that ray of sunshine in that dark cloud, but what I know now as a 40-year-old man is that ability to focus on the positive when things are tough it's something we've all got. That ability to find the positive in our people is an ability we've all got. And sometimes it's tough. Genuinely, I have never seen the final speaker of the day not lose a single person from the room. Not only does he have an extraordinary story to tell and a very powerful message that comes from it, he's a consummate professional. He constantly strives to improve. Um, he's totally reliable, he's utterly committed and he's a joy to work with. It's not about saying you, it's only relevant to people who've kind of had a lot of problems in their life. It's about that kind of positive attitude. I think you could speak to chief executives. Today we've had a mixture of um, tenants and tenants, officers. Businesses will leave with a spring in their step and if they feel that they can't do something, that um, they'll remember today and be able to move forward. I think uh, Richard has got so much to offer uh, and a whole facet of things that uh, he'd be an excellent speaker to have at any event. If I can overcome all that and go on to step outside my comfort zone, do those things that those around me aren't prepared to do, in fact do those things that those around me don't expect me to do, 
and gone to be, do, achieve more than I ever dreamt possible. Listen, if I can, I mean this, if I can, well then you can too. My name's Richard McCann. You've been fantastic. Thank you very much.